today. We'll show you 10 habits that will instantly make you a better player. 10 habits that the best players have. Keep your arm ready. When you're dribbling down the field and you know that there's a defender nearby or behind you, it's always a good idea to keep your arm out just slightly. That way, you can feel when a defender starts to get close. And once you know the defender is right there, you can turn, you can pass, you can speed up to try to get away, whatever you think is best for the situation. But the key is you felt the defender incoming, so you knew you had to react. Head up after dribbling. When you're right in the middle of dribbling at someone, typically you'll be looking at some combination of the ball and the defender's legs. And this is normal. It's fine to be looking down for a second or two. But after you get past them, you should get in the habit of immediately getting your head up and looking at the rest of the field. Because oftentimes, the best choice is not to keep dribbling, but to find the open player. Sleep. Now, this one's pretty simple. If you want to play well in a game the next day, you should make sure you get a good night's sleep the night before, and ideally, multiple nights before the match. Now look, we're not gonna give you an exact number of hours. I'm not a doctor and it probably depends on the person. But what I can tell you is that when you're sleep deprived, it makes everything more difficult. So if you take your football seriously, you need to make sure you're well rested for the match. Warming up. Now look, everyone knows that they should ideally warm up before a match. But for me personally, it's about more than just getting warm. In my experience, what helps the most is doing the types of things that you're going to be doing in the game. So if you're the type of player who dribbles a lot, make sure you dribble in the warm up. If you're a player who takes a lot of shots, make sure you get some shots in. If you play lots of long passes, make sure you sharpen up your technique before the game. And by the way, we're not saying you shouldn't stretch or jog or do standard warm-up things. We're just saying that if there are skills you use a lot during games, make sure to work on them during your warm-up. That way, you feel your technique is sharp and ready to go. Look around. If you watch the best players, and especially the best midfielders in the world, you'll notice they're in the habit of looking around constantly. every couple seconds turning their heads and scanning different parts of the field. This gives them a clear picture of virtually everything, where their teammates are, where the defenders are, and it helps them make better choices when they get the ball. So if you want to get in this habit too, you essentially have to force yourself to constantly look around even if it feels unnatural or unnecessary. And if you keep doing it for long enough, eventually it will be second nature. Ignore trash talk. In games, sometimes players will say things to you that are upsetting. Do edits my feel. But what you need to remember is they're just saying it to get under your skin, to make you play worse, to make you angry so that you get a yellow or red card. So what you need to do is just ignore them. 
their words are meaningless. You won't get the better of them by reacting angrily. You'll get the better of them by beating them at football. Constantly be on the move. The best players want the ball, but they're not gonna get it if they're constantly standing around. So that's why you need to get in the habit of moving constantly. You don't always have to be sprinting, but you do wanna be continuously shifting and moving into positions that support your teammates. And if you do that, you're gonna get the ball a lot more and be a much more valuable player for your team. Check the offside line. If you're a striker, winger, or forward player who spends a lot of time near the defensive line, checking to see if you're offside needs to be something you're doing constantly. Now, admittedly, this is similar to looking around and awareness in general, but I think for forward players, it's worth focusing on specifically. Because with defensive lines, it's very easy to be onside one second, then offside the next. And if you're not constantly trying to stay onside, you're gonna find yourself off all the time and it's gonna annoy your coach and teammates to no end. So do yourself a favor and get in the habit of checking the offside line.